True story. Okay, we're just fell. Bum, ba, da, da, ba, ba. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Can you say hi? Okay, this is the hi. This is Zell's first little video like this. We'll see. This is gonna be a little tricky with the camera. Yo. Okay. You want the this? Oh, okay. I see. All right. So we're gonna have a little real talk here about um, oils in our family and some things that transpired in October. Hey, Jordan. So say hey when you're hopping on. Um, I've like waited a little while to do this video because I was like trying to think about the right way to do it, but I'm just going to do it. So first things first, we had a very direct exposure to something that would have had us having to stay at home for a while. Um, and I want to talk about what we did to stay healthy and to support ourselves in that time. Never have I ever, ever, ever been more grateful <laughs> for something that we could do at home ourselves and to like be an active support for our immune system. So it was, like I said, it was a very, very, very direct exposure that transpired. Um, and so here's what we did. The infectious disease protocol. Do you guys know about this? Comment below if you know about this, if you love it, if you've used it. So all that is, is a layering of 10 different oils. I think it's 10, I should know, it's 10 or 11. Down um, our spines and the bottoms of our feet. And we did that, like I would give one to Gary in the evening and then the next evening he would do it for me, back and forth. Whitney um, had one, if not every day, every other day. And then Zella, I actually used a lot of, hi baby, Rose um, for her. Just like some of our touch oils and diluted oils for her. 14 days later, no symptoms, no issues. Actually, well beyond 14 days. So I just thought that was super uh, meaningful. Um, yeah, so Jordan, I have used the protocol on Zella. And um, I just am not always, she doesn't lay long, lay for as, quite as long. So what I'll sometimes do is like my oregano touch and my on guard touch row is always in there for her. Maybe a little Melissa. And I have a DDR prime roller that I use for her. Um, that I tend to add in. So I'll not modify it for her, but yeah, scant drop. Do you guys know what a scant drop is? If you don't ask me, is that your baby? It's a beautiful baby. Can you hug your baby? Oh, okay. Oh, that was nice. Okay. So then she doesn't lay nicely for you. I'm a bad mom. She, my kids don't lay for me. Now, this is a separate event. I want you to all understand that this is a separate event from what transpired. So probably like three weeks after that exposure, um, Whitney, I looked at her at 11 a.m. and Gary and I were like, she does not look good. And by 12.15, 12.15, this is not even a hot time. She was 103 degrees. And I was like, oh boy, what a, you know, four, eight at midnight, what are we headed for? So I was super um, concerned for her. So I started with the infectious disease protocol every two hours. I used a scant drop because I was doing it so often and I did it, so she got it at like 12, 30, two, four, six, and then at like right about eight before going to bed. Um, so she never, she was 103, she was then 102 and then stayed about 101 for the rest of the day. Slept through the whole night beautifully. Got up the next day and her body, again, guys, Fever is great. It means your body's doing what it's supposed to do. I have no issue with it, but I'm going to support her body while that's going on. So then I started her on it. I didn't do it quite every two hours, maybe three times the next day. And I did it on the bottoms of her feet. I knew that that was a lot of oils, even a scant drop for her back. And when that happens for Whitney, when we have to use it, I think it's a worthwhile consequence. consequence. Her back gets kind of itchy. That's just because it's, but I'm like, girl, they're doing their thing. You're doing, or she did so good with us, um, working with us. Anyway, so I did the bottoms of her feet second day, infectious disease protocol. Fine. She woke up the next morning, totally fine. She was hot, my friend. She was fighting something hard. We oiled ourselves, Gary, Zella, and I, kind of like we did in the last, um, exposure zone and we were fine okay I'm not sharing this because why am I sharing this because there's just heightened awareness right now around like what if somebody's not feeling well what do you do have you been exposed things like that and it's just 
everything's heightened okay and i just like really really especially you guys guys you have these oils in your home like i'm not even saying like oh go buy these oils you have them so um if you do not know how to do the infectious disease protocol you need to know we're going to be talking about it this saturday morning on our symphony of the cells class um the infectious disease protocol is just one of 19 protocols they're all called the symphony of the cells and they are amazing they've helped me get pregnant they've helped me stay pregnant they have just helped us survive october um i cannot say enough about these protocols cannot say enough um help me survive postpartum so many things so um we are teaching you how to do these protocols saturday morning you should be on that call it is very important this is our favorite oil tool and our oils like we use them so much better and more effectively and consistently with this tool. So I hope you'll join us Saturday morning. If you have questions about what I did for our family, um, comment them below. I'll come back and I'll watch this. Um, but seriously, comment if you want that registration link for Saturday. Free, 30 minutes online. You will be amazed at what you learn. Okay, I'm going to go up Zala with their baby. Bye, everybody.